Great crown of cranes are monogamous. When a couple of cranes is together, they are likely to stay together for, for the rest of their lives. But unfortunately, in my country, Rwanda, most of the cranes, they're hunted and sold to people who want to have them in captivity in their houses and hotels. And this means a huge number of cranes does not get a chance to choose the right partner. We have started this program where we are working with people who have cranes in their gardens and they are giving us those cranes back. Prior to transferring them to their natural habitat, we do quarantine to make sure they are healthy. Because we mix cranes from different houses, we've seen so many cranes like starting to bond. Cranes, like people, they date. And to choose a partner, it's a long process. Cranes will start a series of calls, and then they start like bobbing their heads up high, and they will start doing a lot of jumps. They jump and uh, and they call together. So in some cases, they will just fall in love on the first date, or they will have to try other before they find the right one for life. So our project is giving a second chance to those cranes that were once in captivity to choose the right partner and contribute to the world population of great crown cranes by breeding and producing some chicks. <laughs>